What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Let's get into another session of our compound interest challenge. Today we'll be playing session number 27 and after today we will only have three more sessions before we complete our 30 day compound interest challenge. Now it's been a while since my last upload and that is because I'm working on a course called Bankroll Builder. I am going to show you how I took a $5,000 starting bankroll and turned it into $50,000. Very exciting, so be on the lookout for that. You can pre-order Bankroll Builder on Black Friday on my website, MrRaphael.com. Okay, so for session number 27, we are slightly raising our starting unit size to $12. We're looking for a balance of $747, which means we have to make around $36 for session number 27. Let's go. All right, so the strategy we will be using is second banker. If you don't know how to play second banker, basically, you wait for a player streak of two or more to come to an end by a banker and then bet for a second banker to show up. Nice and simple. I do have a full video on second banker on my YouTube channel, so you can go ahead and check that out if you want. As for our betting progression, we will use a delayed negative progression. I will start out with 50% of our unit size for this session so for example, session number 27, our unit size is $12. So if you break that in half, you would get $6 chips. And you can see the progression on the screen right now. If we lose, we will move one to the right. And if we win, we will move one to the left. If we get to the end of the progression, that is our stop loss and we will end the session. Okay, let's go ahead and find a table and start playing second banker. Okay, I just joined this table as you guys can see a two streak on the player has just ended so we can jump right in with a bet on banker okay here we go looking for a win goal of $747 for this session okay we lose our first bet minus six Gonna pop a rebet because we're moving one to the right. So another $6 bet here. Okay, we lose that one as well. All right, I'm gonna go to $12 chips now. And for the second banker, I like to set a stop loss in terms of losses in a row. So if we lose three in a row, we will head over to another table. Okay, guys, but we don't. We get a natural eight on the banker side. So plus 12 for us. That is a break even. And when I play second banker, I like to table hop. All right, so I'm going to exit the table. This way I can give you guys more action instead of making you wait around. All right, so all I'm doing is looking for a player streak, such as this table right over here. You can see that two in a row has gone for the player. And I will just join a table where I see a player streak. So you can see the player is streaking at three in a row. So we will wait for our trigger on this table. Okay guys, as you can see, the player streak has ended. So we will jump right in with a bet on bank. And since I won the last bet, I'm moving one to the left. That is why I'm placing a $6 bet here. Okay, so we lose that bet, moving one to the right. So this bet will be a $12 bet. I'm 
Natural nine for the banker, perfect, plus 12. Okay, and again, let's go table hopping. And we're gonna look for a player streak. This one has a long player streak. All right, let's go with this one. When you're table hopping, I like to go for a fairly new shoe at most. If it's midway, that's fine. As long as you're not close to the end of the shoe. All right, player keeps winning. So we're just gonna wait patiently here for the banker to break the streak. There we go, streak broken by the banker moving one to the left so this is a six dollar bet natural eight for the banker perfect that's a hit for us all right you know what time it is table hopping time <laughs> Don't want to keep you guys waiting around, so this is how I like to play second banker. I'm going to look for another player streak here. You see, take a look at this table. It's close to the end. She just pulled out the red card, so you don't want to join a table like that. This one is okay. It's almost at the midway point, and I could see that player has gone two in a row. And... The banker has broken the streak. Perfect. We could jump right in. Moving one to the left on our progression. So we are back to the beginning. Six dollars. We are at plus 12 at the moment. Okay, we pick up that win, perfect. Another plus six. All right, we're gonna exit the table, look for another table. I would join this table, although for some reason, Speedbakra B has a fast timer. It only gives you about five seconds to place a bet. Not what I'm looking for, so. Let's see if we can get a bet in because a player streak has just broken here. So I'm going to try to get a bet in. All right, we do have enough time. Perfect. Just got the bet off in time. Okay, we pick up another win, Banker wins. Great. I'm gonna exit here. Let me know in the comments if you prefer this way of playing second Banker, the table hopping method. Because sometimes a player streak takes a while to show up, right? So. I find table hopping to be more efficient. All right, I might be too late to get off a bet here. Yeah, I would have won that. That's okay, let's look for another table. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, perfect. Player streak has just ended by a banker. We can jump right in. Perfect, banker wins. Another plus six for us. And we are at $744. You know what? $3 off of our win goal. So, Actually, let's call that a session, all right? Because if I place another $6 bet, that would be above our win goal. 
You know what? We're, we're going to call it a session here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and exit the table. Okay, let's remember our balance. $744.36. I'm going to pull up the spreadsheet. Okay, $744.36. Session number 27, in the books. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A nice, quick session, table hopping, playing Second Banker. Amazing. Second Banker is my most viewed YouTube video with over 100,000 views. So people do seem to enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to destroy the like button. It really helps out my channel and encourages me to make more videos for you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on bell notifications. That way you get notified whenever I upload my brand new videos. And as mentioned earlier in the video, be on the lookout for Bankroll Builder. I'm very excited, very exciting stuff. Black Friday on my website, MrRaphael.com. It's how I personally turned a $5,000 starting bankroll into $50,000, still growing. And by the way, you don't need to have a $5,000 starting bankroll, but I will say that if you are interested in the Bankroll Builder course, you should have a minimum of a $500 starting bankroll. If you can do 1,000, even better, but at minimum, $500, okay, keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm really looking forward to releasing that. And that is it for this video. To all of my American friends, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have a wonderful time with your family and loved ones. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe and I will catch you in the next one. Ciao.